What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome back to our Buckeye property. It's been only two weeks, actually probably a week and a half since I was here last and uh, it was the first time I had ever visited the property when I was here last and now we are selling it. Uh, today is the final day actually. The buyers are closing on it tomorrow. We just had to remove some final things here but everything went well with the inspection. Everything went well with the entire transaction. It was a hedge fund and now that we sold the property or by the time you guys see this video we would have sold the property so I can break down the numbers for you guys and talk about something that I wish I would have done a little bit differently. So we bought this property from a wholesaler. He originally offered it to us at $300,000. And we were like, there's no way we can close this at $300,000. So I kind of just threw like a Hail Mary out to him. And I was like, give it to us for $270,000 and we'll make it work. Um, and he ended up actually renegotiating with the seller. The seller was extremely distressed and we found out more and more throughout the transaction. He was not only behind on his mortgage payments, but he was heavily behind on all of his utility bills as well. Um, so we had trouble even getting power to this property because a bunch of missed payments on the electric bill. So we had to figure that out. We had to like show him the deed, show him everything that we're actually the new owners and we're no longer the person that used to live here because he wouldn't have been able to open another utility account on there. Uh, so he needed to sell the property. He needed to sell it ASAP, like within days of us actually getting uh, the contract. So it worked out well for us in terms of um, us needing it at a certain price and him needing to leave. So we ended up negotiating. We were back and forth for probably half a day between the wholesaler, um, the seller themselves, and then us as the buyer. Um, I really don't know what the wholesaler got it for. I believe the wholesaler probably locked it up for 275. He sold it to us for 279. Usually you can tell on the, um, on the settlement statement how much a wholesaler makes because they have an assignment fee on there but for some reason this one didn't pop up he must have done it differently to where he gets paid outside of escrow or directly from the seller or something like that but i believe he made about my guess is he got it for 275 sold it to us for 279 we had it at 280 and i was like listen we'll do it right now for 279 and we ended up getting another thousand dollars off of it almost immediately we got this under contract within one day from a hedge fund. It's a residential rental company that just buys a ton of um, rental properties with a huge hedge fund that they have with a bunch of investors. And uh, they offered us $315,000. So this was a unique transaction and I'm gonna tell you why. I made the first mistake by going under value of the property. Like I knew that it needed work. Obviously you guys will see, I'll give you guys a full tour once I'm done talking. I knew it needed work, um, but I had never seen the property in person. So I was just speculating how much work it would need based off photos. And that was my first mistake. I should have definitely have went here, toured the property, walked the property before I actually got it under contract again. Um, because it needed a lot less work. So I undercut the value of the property by probably about $10,000. I wanted $300,000 net. So that's what we pretty much negotiated on. He got his commission and I said, I want to net $300,000 on this property after closing costs. So it ended up being like a, a, a negotiated down to like $302,500, I think is what we settled at. So $302,500. Minus the 279, I think cash to close because we paid both sides of escrow on this was like $282,000 cash to close. We not only paid for our escrow fees, we paid for the seller's escrow fees, which is pretty common with wholesalers because wholesalers come into these sellers and they're like, we're going to net or we're going to offer you 280 and that's exactly what you take home. We will pay for everything else. It just makes it a clean offer. So um, we ended up paying both sides. And then we put $898, I believe, less than $1,000. And then I'm gonna pay my guys a little bit today for what they did to remove the rest of the trash. So we're gonna say we paid about $1,000 in expenses with landscape, deep clean, trash removal, and then we painted actually this room that I'm in right now and needed a little bit of paint as well. So we're in about $1,000. We'll miss, we'll round up to about $283,000. And then we netted about $300. After closing costs, I think it's gonna be right around $300,000. So if you guys wanna do the math on that, 283, conservative 284,000 all in, sell it for 300,000, we should make about $16,000. I actually haven't looked at the exact settlement statement yet, um, but it should be right around $16,000. Not a whole lot. I think if we relisted this property, if we spent 25,000 in this property, we probably could have listed it at 340 to $350,000. And then it would have been a lot bigger of a spread, but this was just a very smooth, easy transaction. I showed up to this property twice, less than $1,000 in work, very low risk 
very easy client to work with on the buy end of it. Uh, they had a 10 day close. Uh, cash to close, no inspection, or they had an inspection, but no um, as is, they bought it as is, so they weren't gonna request anything. No appraisal, no lending, anything like that. So just a very easy close. Do I regret selling this at this price? Yes, I think we could have made a little bit more and I think it would have been worth it if I went and toured this property and I'm like, man, this is worth 325,000 in the current condition, 350,000 if we put a little bit more work into it. But it is what it is. It's at the end of the day, we can't reverse anything. We still made money on it. We still had a clean exit on it. So I'm very happy overall. And let's give you guys a tour of it. First tour is the backyard. <laughs> Not much has changed since I showed you guys last. Literally like the only thing that has changed is they clean the house, which it looks the same anyways. Um, you guys can see like the condition with the staining on the carpet. This is original paint from when it was built. It smells absolutely disgusting in here. All the doors are like brand new single panel doors. There used to be a TV right here. Their request was to remove all the trash and materials from the house and the TV was part of the material. So we had to remove that. There's a dresser in here we had to remove we had to remove all the extra trash in here, if you guys remember as well. Cleaned it up nicely. And then downstairs looks pretty much the exact same as well. We removed the big dresser right here, and then we removed the refrigerators as well because they actually didn't request the refrigerators, which these actually had some good value to them, so they could have kept them, but that's just part of like what the hedge fund does. They have a very strict rule book they have to stand by. We got a bunch of stuff in both of these things right here and that's it well that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching another one of our properties sold we're going into a very slow time right now um rates are actually ticking back up which just sucks for everybody involving real estate buyers sellers i actually lost another um two clients of mine that were on the buy side because they're getting cold feet now that rates are shooting up a little bit so it is what it is though the real estate just goes up and down long term it's always a good play happy to have this one sold before anything goes super crazy last thing you want to do is hold a property and actually take a loss on it so i'll see you guys soon drop a like drop a comment follow me on tiktok follow me on instagram if you guys are looking to buy or sell here in the arizona area i'm a licensed real estate agent i love to work with you guys